Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Evening Prayer. Well, we got a gully washer going on outside now. And, uh, yeah, get ready. <laughs> um, I want to, before I start the prayer, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, since all three videos have uploaded now, and uh, many people have already seen them, so you guys know what's going on. A lot of people have been getting the same revelation. Um, so I'm pretty... I'm, I'm convinced this is it. We're, he's telling us that, that it's about to happen. And you know, since last year, I always had a feeling it was going to happen. So I have to give credit where credit is due. Lisa Boyce, Watchwoman 65. Sarah, Fire Girl for Christ. Um, Wackadoodle Samoan, Matt. Uh, Tim Henderson. And um, Diamond Dustification, Jesse. Uh, I actually had involved all of those individuals in what was going on. I wasn't sure if I should share it. Uh, I was getting advice. We were all going over it together. Me, Matt, Lisa, and Sarah had all been talking. Uh, and it was the conversations. It all started with uh, Lisa and Sarah. The conversation they were having. I picked up on a couple of things went over the, the direction that I went, brought it together. We all started throwing our two cents in. I mean, it was, a, it was a collective idea. And it's amazing that I've got brothers and sisters that I can communicate with and talk about these things with that can put their insights that they're being shown because they'll see things different. This is, um, this is why I'm doing Romans 12 today because there's something interesting in here that applies to this. <clears throat> um, giving their insights into it that help bring it together because... The first video and the third video actually were based off of after I had filmed the second video. Uh, and it was based on conversations of other insights people had offered in. And it all just points to the same thing. So I've got to give credit where credit is due. And, you know, all the glory goes to God. But my brothers and sisters were there for me and they helped me. Thank you guys very much for being involved. Whether it was a little tiny bit or whether it was a lot, it doesn't matter. Just you guys were involved in this. Um, so guys, you know, we're being shown the finish line. Um, it would literally be astonishing to me, me personally, and I think to many others, if we were here after this time, this coming time frame. And like I said in those videos, you know, I still can't tell you, yes, this is it. But I'm sure seeing a whole lot of evidence that points to it. And again, we still don't know the day or hour. We don't know the day or hour that that number is going to reach all sevens. And if you watched the last video, you saw the other revelation I got about those all sevens. How it, that can actually be play have two parts to play. So really, really amazing, interesting stuff. Now that doing that all is going to bounce off Romans twelve. It's really funny too because I didn't know I was going to re be reading Romans twelve, and then as I started, I realized, oh wait, Romans twelve is talks about this. So anyway, we're going to do prayer, and then we're going to read Romans 12, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's get right into prayer, because the storms are getting pretty heavy, and uh, we have thunderstorms coming, and I'm going to get this posted before my internet goes out. Lord Jesus, we come before you this evening. First of all, thank you for the rain. This is amazing. You've given us so much good rain. Thank you for the revelations you have poured out on the brothers and sisters. I'm finding out about more and more and more people who have done videos about this, who have had this thought in their mind, who have been shown this and weren't sure whether they what they were seeing, and that we're all coming together in this. We're all coming together in agreement. Obviously, Lord, you're showing us something. It's pretty clear. Obviously, something is up. Something is about to happen. I was talking to somebody earlier, Lord, on Ty Green's video about... Ecclesiastes 12 they went and read Ecclesiastes 12 and what you showed me I didn't even tell them what was in there they came back and they were like oh my god that is exactly talking about this and they saw the rapture in there too Lord you're bringing this all this new word out and it's so amazing to see this happen it's so amazing to see this unfold I would just love to have been able to pick up on this 20 years ago <laughs> but it is what it is Lord, thank you for this. Thank you for this amazing edification and, and lifting us up and showing us these things that we can share them with our brothers and sisters. Whew. Thank you for my brothers and sisters receiving it. Understanding from an adult standpoint and receiving it for what it is. That it is a revelation and it's based in scripture. And I hope everyone, you know, or at least some people, do more research and find more revelation. 
and share that with people because it is an amazing thing to have you, Lord, working in our lives, showing us these things that a lot of other people have never seen before in the in the Bible. And it's just, it's so cool to see that happen. It's awesome to play a part in it. So I want to give thanks, Lord, to all those, my brothers and sisters that helped me, to Lisa, to Sarah, to Matt, to Tim, to Jesse, that helped me in this, whether it was in a big part or a small part, they helped me with it and were there for me to confide in about these things and then also to confirm these things because they had seen these things too. So I pray blessings on them and I pray blessings on all my brothers and sisters and I pray those videos edify and strengthen them and build them up and get them looking up and, and create a stronger sense of hope. Lord, I'd like to read Romans 12 during this prayer because there's some interesting things in here that apply to this situation. Living sacrifices to God. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us let us use them if prophecy let us prophesy in proportion to our faith you guys hearing what these words are or ministry let us use it in our ministering he who teaches in teaching he who exhorts in exhortation he who gives with liberty he who leads with diligence he who shows mercy with cheerfulness let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love in honor, giving preference to one another. Not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. Distributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And Lord, I pray that, they, that everyone watching caught what was said in this Romans 12. What an amazing account of how we should walk as Christians. And it's so simple and it's so easy and it's all based in love and kindness. It's based in faith. Help us to stay fervent in prayer and diligent and continual in prayer, making these morning and evening prayer sacrifices up until the moment we're taken because we'll do it after. Well, there's no morning or evening up there. but Lord, you've done so much in my life personally, I, and I have people giving testimony of what you've done in their life, right? the way you've opened the word up to them, those that took the advice, the advice you gave me, and I told them about how to read and how to rightly divide and how to read in context, and the, the, you have opened the Bible up to them like they've never seen before. Now they're having the revelations I'm having, and it's amazing that you have opened this up this way. And you have done it in these end times. Help us to minister and to preach and to teach to those who need it. Help us to catch those opportunities to share the gospel with people and to be confident and bold in our word, which is your word, which is you, Lord, to those that don't believe. That we may plant the maximum amount of seeds possible so when the time comes, the flood, the great multitude will come in. 
Lord, we know this is it. We know this is the end. Help us reach anyone else. If it's possible, reach anyone else. And if not, at least plant some seeds. Lord, keep giving us revelations. Keep opening this word up to us. Keep showing us the truth. Keep helping us edify and build up. Help me keep doing these prayers morning and evening. I don't know if there's going to come a point where they're going to try to shut us down. I'm putting my faith in you, Lord. I put my faith and my trust in you. Because I know you will come through. You've been there all my life. Even before I was saved, you were there. I look back and I see you were there. I realize now that even before I got saved, I believed. <laughs> because there's so many times before when things would happen and I always thought of you. And I never, it never dawned on me that all that time from when I was a kid, I believed. I knew. Give us strength in these final days. Give us wisdom and revelation and understanding in these final days. Help us to preach joyfully to all those around us. If it be possible, to win one more. We love you, Lord. We thank you. For your grace and your mercy, we thank you for your peace and understanding and your patience and your love and your gift of salvation that you earned for us on the cross. We look forward to seeing you. It is in your name I bless my brothers and sisters. Pray peace to be poured out upon them and grace and blessings. Bless the Father in your name. Bless you in your name. And in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for evening prayer. Go back and read Romans 12 again. Think about what it's saying. Think about how it applies. It is such a great picture of how we should be as Christians. How we should walk. I mean, we're not going to be perfect. We can't be perfect. But that's the great thing about grace. Because when you have grace, when you have this law of liberty and freedom, it allows for you to make mistakes. You guys have heard me say over and over again, you're saved to sin. Not saved to sin because you like it. Not saved to sin because you it's an occasion to do it, because you know you're good to go. You're saved to make those mistakes. You're saved to stumble. You're saved to miss the mark. Under the law, it's instant death. Under Christ, it's not. You have an opportunity to make a correction. So it's not about us being perfect. Christ took care of that on the cross. It's not about us being perfect. It's about us being faithful. It's about us walking in love. It's That's what it's all about. When that new covenant was signed by his blood, everything changed. A lot of people miss that mark. They're still caught up in the law. Hopefully... Some of them will come watch some of my videos and maybe they'll realize the mistake that they've been making and turn to him because it would be such an amazing thing to see some of them up there. It would be so amazing to see those people up there who aren't trusting in him, but yet they have ministries that are that are trying to destroy other people to change and to see them there and go and be able to look at them and go, you made it. Awesome. That would be awesome. I love you guys very much. I bless you all greatly in Jesus' name. And I pray those videos are going to bless you. I put them in a playlist so you can go and you can dig into them. Uh, I may add some more videos to that as new revelations because I've had a bunch last year um, just to build up the playlist for stuff for you guys to watch. We'll see how it goes. But do your own research on that because the more you look into it, the more you start to see that's it. But that number is going to hit all sevens. We're going to get raptured and it's going to drop. And then it's going to go back up to all sevens again. Remember the census they just did? They know who's going to be gone. They know exactly who's going to be gone. And then in about nine months, the population will <laughs> take off. And it'll be right back in. And there's other people that are tell, saying the same thing I've been saying. Why did I never see that before? The time wasn't right. Uh oh, there goes thunder. The time wasn't right. So, 
keep watching guys keep looking up and stay faithful stay faithful no matter what happens he's on our side no matter what we see no matter how long we're here he's on our side stay faithful stay strong keep studying and keep reading because you may just be the one that is given a revelation no one else has ever been given and then you can share it with the brothers and sisters and edify everybody all, all depends on your ministry and what you've been given. I love you guys. Hope you all have a great evening, and I'll see you in the next video.